All right, I'm gonna do a video on my uh, DIY auto top off. It it is gravity fed, so you don't have to rely on a uh, float switch, which are not reliable at all. A lot of people use them, but if you do I, if you do use a float switch, I recommend using a couple just as a backup. Anyway, here, here's how you do the gravity fed, and it's real simple. You just what you're gonna want, you're just gonna get. Uh, this is just a Rubbermaid bin. This is 21 gallons. It doesn't really matter what size you get. Uh, the second thing you're gonna need is that right there, and that's just a like a quarter inch bulkhead, I guess. I just got this at my local fish store. I'm sure you can get it online. Just make sure it fits quarter inch, because this tube here is quarter inch. That's the line I'm using. Uh, I got just a little shut off valve just in case I need to shut it off at any time. Uh, anyway, th the line just runs down as you can see through the wall there in my sump here. Straight down in the. And here's the float valve itself. Make sure you get a float valve, not a float switch. And basically, what this does is when the water evaporates, the valve will lower, opening the valve and draining water from your Rubbermaid into here until the float valve raises and therefore shuts it off. And it's it's dead on. It keeps it right at the level I want, as you can see right there. And I just got my float valve here from eBay. Here I, got, I actually got another backup just in case. That's the actual float valve. Cost me 650 on eBay. Can't go wrong. So, yeah, that's how you make it.